Welcome to Location, the Locator News web edition delivering top stories from a top newspaper. I'm Justin Silner. And I'm Kelsey Castrava, and here's your news now. Human trafficking is a topic of study at Cabrini College this semester. Not for Sale author David Batstone spoke at the college recently, sharing stories of trafficked people and what we can do as college students to get involved with the anti-slavery cause. Let's see what Batstone had to say about this glowing global issue. On Monday, November 2nd, Location received an exclusive interview with David Batstone, who talked about the importance of putting an end to human bondage and domestic violence. When we first started investigating uh, human trafficking and slavery inside the United States, we went to domestic abuse shelters as one of our early sources because we found it was a place where women would run in order to get protection if they perhaps had been trafficked or had been threatened with being trafficked. So we found there was a coincidence in terms of the, say, domestic abuse um, and the services that are provided, and those were trafficking victims. Well, you know, it, it really comes back to being vulnerable. And what makes someone vulnerable? There's lots of conditions. It's not only economic, but certainly being, uh, being what we call poor or having a lack of economic resources makes you vulnerable. So vulnerability is tied to a lot of things, but it's what leads then someone into a path where others will take advantage of them. The Cabrini College Theater will hold its opening night performance of The Complete History of America Abridged on Thursday, November 5th. The show will run for two consecutive weekends. Location's own Danielle Alio was a part of the show, so let's check in with her now for a sneak peek of the upcoming performance. Hi, I'm Danielle Alia, live on location on the set of the Cabrini College Theater production of The Complete History of America Abridged. The Complete History of America Abridged is a wild comedy written and produced by the Reduced Shakespeare Company in which the actors and actresses take the audience on a crazy journey through America's past and present. The show starts off with the discovery of America and making fun of everything along the way, from war to social movements, presidents to audience members, and everything in between. The audience is a major player since the cast draws them in as part of the fun. If you would like to check out the complete history of America Abridged, you can get your tickets in the SEAL office for the performance dates of November's 5th, 6th, and 7th, and November's 12th, 13th, and 15th. I'm Danielle Alio, live on location. Hey, have you heard what's going on with the Twitter wars? Yeah, let's see what Jake and Gian have to say on the dirt sheet. What's up, all you stars and studs? I'm Jake Veterano. And I'm Gianna Chicatino, and welcome to The Dirt Sheet, where we give you the latest in entertainment. Gianna and I would like to bring you a new segment on The Dirt Sheet called Twitter Wars. Ah! Lindsay Lohan and her dad have been arguing via Twitter. And now, a live excerpt from one of Lindsay's tweets. My father is a lunatic and doesn't deserve that title. My second family is what you are to me. Burn! Round one, Lindsay. Can't wait to see what Michael says back. But until then, we here at the Dirt Sheet would like to present him with the world's greatest dad award. <laughs> Woo! But, but, he will have to share it with John Gosselin. They both would have liked to have been here to accept their awards, but they're too busy ruining their children's lives. Halloween was this past weekend, and all of our favorite celebs took their costumes to the streets. Hattie Klum and Seal Don Crow outfit. Wow, Khloe Kardashian was Catwoman. For us non-famous people, Lady Gaga was the big costume this year. And who could blame people with the fame officially becoming the only debut album in history with four number one singles, Gaga is everywhere. Is this autographed? Yeah, she spelled my name wrong though. <laughs> who the hell's Diana? Mm, it's me. Well everyone, remember that the black and white formal is Saturday, November 7th. Stop by the SEAL office to get your tickets. And remember, guests will not be admitted without sex appeal. Don't well, be toddy. For the, the party. party! Don't Woo! be tired for the party! 
And that's all we've got for you this week. I'm Gianna Chicatino. And I'm Jake Vetterano, the Glamazon. And now let's check out November's upcoming events. Oh, hey everyone. I'm Melissa Bellini here on location at Cabrini College Bookstore. I'm getting my blue and white gear for Cabrini Spirit Day on November 12th. Come out to the marketplace at 12 p.m. and dress in your spirit gear, and you can win some great prizes and also take pictures with a retiring cavalier. Some other events coming up this month are... The week of November 8th starts Cabrini Week. Tuesday, November 10th is Cabrini Day. Classes are canceled, but students, faculty, and staff are encouraged to participate in the many activities around campus. Wednesday, November 11th is the Mr. and Mrs. Cabrini Pageant. It will be held at 8 p.m. in Grace Hall. Wednesday, November 18th is a hot dog eating contest. It's $5 per person and will be held in Grace Hall at 7 p.m. Saturday, November 21st is the New York City shopping trip. The bus departs from Founders Lot at 10 a.m. Monday, November 23rd is Bingo Night in Jasmine's Cafe at 9 p.m. To check out more information on these events, visit www.cabrini.edu slash get involved. Cipollini on location. Now back to the studio. Three senior Cabrini students were nominated by the College Broadcasters Incorporated for their audio documentary. Let's check in with Casey with results from Austin, Texas. Cabrini College's radio station 89.1 WYBF was keeping it weird in Austin, Texas from October 29th until November 1st at the 8th Annual College Broadcasters Incorporated Awards. The CBI Award honors those who put forth effort into education by learning about a subject that affects the world or simple interests that affect college students every day. This is Cabrini's third year being nominated for the award, and seniors Mallory Terrence, Jillian Davis, and Caitlin Frill's audio documentary, The Road of Insecurity, The Global Food Crisis, finished as a finalist. Other than accepting the award, Cabrini students Justin Silner, Nick Golden, and Caitlin Frill took part in a CBI cybercast. WYBF was able to live stream news, sports, and weather updates while fusing their own musical tastes into the mix. Senior journalist at National Catholic Reporter, John L. Allen Jr. lectured on October 27th in the Cabrini College Mansion about where he sees the Catholic religion going. Allen traveled to 75 different countries, interviewed thousands of ministers and bishops, and written 10 books with another one on the way. On Thursday, October 29th, four Cabrini professors who have been conducting self-inspired research held the annual faculty forum, which was held in the Grace Hall boardroom, where professors had the opportunity to show their findings. One of the professors, Dr. Carrie Nielsen, assistant professor of biology, conducted research over this past summer on different soils, eutrophication and nitrate. Nielsen's presentation was titled Beneath Our Feet, examining the effects of campus landscape and explained the research that she performed along with students Christopher Katagnus and Linda Kaufman. And now let's check in with Liz for your weather. What's up everyone? These next few days are looking absolutely gorgeous. We start off on Thursday with partly cloudy skies with a high of 51 and a low of 36. Friday there's going to be sunny skies with a high of 47 and a low of 46. Saturday, sunny skies all around with a high of 52 and a low of 42. And ending your weekend, clear and beautiful skies with a high of 57 and a low of 42. That's all I have for you today. Back to you, Kelsey. And now it's time to take a trip around the world. As of Tuesday, November 3rd, Step the city bus, subway, and trolley services are officially on strike in Philadelphia. It was rumored that the strike would happen much sooner, but SEPTA held out until the World Series moved to New York. Many Cabrini students have used SEPTA transportation to get around Philadelphia for both work and entertainment. Governor Ed Rendell is hoping to negotiate with company officials. Recently, automobile companies have been facing bankruptcy. The Ford Motor Company, however, had its first recent profitable quarter in North America. It profited $997 million, making more money than it has in four years. The government helped Ford out with bankruptcy with its Cash for Conquerors program. And now let's check in with Nick for your two-minute drill. What's going on, all you sports fans? Nick Goulden here with your two-minute drill. Every game of the World Series so far for the Phillies have been nothing short of nail biters. They did pull out a victory on home turf in Game 5 with a score of 8-6, to six, but not before their big hitter Ryan Howard struck out in the series at record 12 times. On the bright side, Chase Sutley may have earned himself Series MVP after tying Mr. October himself, Reggie Jackson's record of home runs in a World Series with 5. The Eagles put together a huge victory against their NFC East rival, the New York Giants. 
this weekend in Philadelphia. Donovan McNabb led the Birds with three touchdown passes and 240 yards passing. Rookie LaShawn McCoy and Leonard Weaver also racked up a touchdown each to lead the Eagles to a 40-17 romping of the G-Men. On to Cabrini Sports, the men's soccer team demolished CSAC opponent Keystone College with a score of 5-0. The Cavs outshot the Giants 35-6. The women's field hockey team defeated Marywood University with a score of 1-0 in double overtime. Maura Gordon scored the one and only goal to give the Cavaliers the victory. That's all for your two-minute drill this week. Tune in next week for more sports coverage. Back to you guys at the news desk. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Location. Be sure to tune in for next week's web edition. I'm Kelsey Castrava. And I'm Justin Solner. Have a great day. This Location web edition was brought to you by...